welcome to our house. This week I've come to visit an entertainer who has been wowing us for over 30 years with his sleight of hand, his funny quips and his breathtaking illusions. I'm talking about the world famous magician Paul Daniels and he lives right here in this beautiful Thameside retreat with his lovely wife Debbie McGee. But before we go for the big reveal, here's a quick look at what else is coming under the spotlight on this week's show. <laughs> Paul Daniels is acclaimed as one of the best stand-up magicians in the business. Two years ago, he moved into this ultra-modern house with Debbie, where they've created a simple look with no illusions. So you've gone from oldie worldy to a more minimalist chic. Why did you go for the change? Because uh, I'm getting mentally younger, I suppose. Um, we had a five-bedroom, seven-bathroom, huge lofted monster of a house, and there's two of us rattling round in it. We've always wanted to live on the river, and we just felt it was the right time to move. It makes us not work, so we'll have a cup of coffee or something and sit and watch the ducks and the boats. Last summer, yeah, I woke up and opened the windows and looked down, and there was a black swan on the end of the creek. So tell me why I live here. So you love the wildlife? I'm the Attenborough of this area. And because there's no street lights or anything, we see the stars so much more clearly than so I've ever seen pollution. them. You're yeah. talking about me again? No. So tell me a bit about the design of this particular room. You came here and thought, light. Yeah. I saw the light. Yeah. You saw the light, and this is a superb, you know, rounded, yeah. conservative feel to it. Oh, I'm th thank you for that. Yes, this is did totally you design my this? idea. And you I think the designer oh. originally drew it square off, and I wanted yeah. it full 180 degree round. It's like you go out into the garden and into the river, mm. and it's worked really mm. good. Yeah. OK, so this is the, the beautiful kitchen area. I want to now be given a guided tour. Right, now postcards will be on sale at the end of this tour. Right. Walk this way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, well, Magic moments. And this is the lounge, drawing room, living room. It depends what you want the to call it. Drawing room, lovely and bright. This is the big feature. If you come over here, you see, and you look back at that, that entrance, I think it's, it's really commanding. It commands the room. You Did know. you design this? Yeah. I like the diamonds. They're really yeah. cool. Trust a woman to notice diamonds. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And again, it has this fantastic aspect going out so over see, there. It's wonderful. A whole wall of windows. I love mm. that. The radiators are different. Now, I was going to ask you about them. They are different. They kind of blend in with the wall. Yeah. And they're on as well. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that strange? Like feeling the wall and it's hot. <laughs> yeah. Terrific. It's great. Put your back against it. Leave, leave, leave <laughs> that. Well, the trousers are yeah. out. <laughs> 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 oh, so yeah, I told you they weren't real leather. <laughs> You're not strictly slaves to minimalism because there's lots of little trinkets lying around the place. Not so many as we had. I mean, we had really? thousands of them. And what about the sort of duck? What's going on here in the middle of the drawing room? I mean, there's that's nothing a bit wrong gauche. with you. <laughs> there's a problem with the duck. You can start it, but you can't stop it. Can I just say, let's lose the dog? I think this is a, an absolute... It goes forever. We'll, we'll put him away in the background. So who makes the decisions about the interior decor? Depends what it is. Debbie, for example, went to a restaurant and spotted this. So uh, mm. phoned me up and said, I'm coming home with a picture. And I claim she had too much wine. I don't really. I like it, really. It's absolutely stunning. It's the first thing that you see when you come in the door, isn't yeah. it? Your eyes are really drawn to it. What about the perspex? What would you call that? An apron table? Yeah. Where on earth did you get them from? I mean, they're lovely. They're made quite locally. It's clever. It's like a sort of a clever mm. sculpture. Your house has actually got quite an American vibe about it. We call it our Malibu home. Malibu, very yes, like we're very the, Malibu. The darling. houses on the hills are like this in Hollywood. You know that Louis Theroux programme where he kept trying to get in our bedroom? Yes. And we wouldn't show him? Yeah. Well, you can. Perfect. Let's get up there. Are you serious? See you later. Oh, yes, yeah, An exclusive Goodbye, in the Debbie. bedroom. Let's go. Come on. I'll never forget the moment we... Paul, you promised me a bedroom exclusive. Open up. Well, that is just so rude. I'll have to work on Debbie later. She's a lovely lady. Anyway, Paul and Debbie have definitely kept their decor very simple inside their house. But imagine living with someone who is so obsessed with decorating, they just can't stop. In now, please, Paul. Open up. OK, so the bedroom is out of limits, but I've got you the next best thing. Paul and Debbie's walk-in wardrobe. Mm -hmm. And look at it, it's absolutely massive. Mm -hmm. And it's like a working wardrobe for you, isn't it, Debbie? Yeah, most of it is. I keep certain bits here so that if I get something unexpected, mm. I can just 
put my hand on a few things. So I've sort of got cocktail-y and cat suits there and mm. then um, dresses with coats in this section. And this is obviously Paul's side. Well, little bits of it. Half of it's Paul's and the other half's mine. And you've mine, crept it at the end there with a bit of fur. Yeah. How do you get up there to all these clothes Oh, up there? well, let me show you. Can I get past you? Yes, this is specially designed. Like these handles, you see, for all the top rows that I yeah. just pull out. Oh, that's wonderful. Off. And then put it Isn't that great? I look at the shoes area. This is yeah, wonderful. I know. Can Lovely. I show you a pair? Yes, please. <laughs> These do. are incredible. When I bought them, showing <laughs> off, I so bought them light. in France last year, and because I'm little, I wonder if I'd be as tall as you in them. You see. Would you say this is your dream home? Yes, it is. Yeah. Is it? I just love it. I mean, I just love looking out the window every day. I mean, at the moment, there are two baby ducks just out there, and I feed the ducks and the swans. What would you say, Debbie, is your favourite item in the whole house? If there was a fire, what would you run and save? Paul. Oh, is that sweet? <laughs> Join us after the break when we'll be conjuring up two more beautiful homes just for you. Welcome back. Now, Paul Daniels and Debbie McGee are obviously very much in love with their riverside view. It must be great having all this at the foot of their garden. But imagine a view of London so compelling it would entice you to move 3,000 miles from home. Interior design is all about creating your own particular brand of magic, transforming your home into something really special. And our next homeowner in Gloucestershire is constantly up to new tricks. Magic. Back in Oxfordshire, Paul and Debbie love nothing more than a romantic stroll by their very own stretch of river. You are inseparable, you two, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much so, yeah. And I like that. So, Paul, quite humble beginnings for you. Um, and then you've come to this. We've come a long way, but it doesn't really matter. So long as everybody around me is well and happy, that's really important. The actual house itself, well, if, it all, if we all went bust, <laughs> I'd do it again. <laughs> well, that's about it, guys. Just about yeah. the end of the show. Thank you very much indeed for showing me around your secret haven. It's been a pressure. Mm -hmm. A that's pleasure. A pleasure, even. I'm just sorry that we never got to see the bedroom, the exclusive. Maybe next time. When we're alone. When, you're, when you and I are alone. Ooh. Oh, Debbie, there will be none of that going on. Ooh. But perhaps you can make it up to me by whipping up a gastronomic feast in this gorgeous, swanky kitchen. All right, then, but why don't you come and be my glamorous assistant? <laughs> I think we'll leave that to Paul. Okay. Anyway, that's it from me. Join me again next week for some more glamorous homes. I'll see you then. Take care. Goodbye. Don't oh. forget all the details of the homes featured in today's show are on our website. And you'll also find news there of our fantastic competition where you could win luxury wooden flooring for your entire home.